Hey everyone, it's Ferg. So I thought I'd do a Federalist Paper series because that shit's hard to read. So I'm gonna do it in some stupid language. So if you have an average IQ like me, you can understand um, what the Founding Fathers were saying. Um, so this first one, Federalist 1, was by Alexander Hamilton. And it goes a little like this. Everyone here has experienced that the federal government that exists now sucks. It's time you start looking at the situation we're in and think about adopting a new constitution. It's freaking important. Do it. Do it now. This is the test that will figure out if there's any future hope for an actual good government or just the same shit in a different toilet. It's a big deal, and if you are a patriot that studies the issue, then you know your decisions are going to have a huge impact, fam. In a perfect world, people would just want truth, but we have this tricky thing called bias, and we expect a little something something from special interests or people with an agenda regarding this debate. So we are going to get some emotional arguments that may influence this. There are also these shit bricks called politicians, and sometimes those mofos are driven out in a negative way. Sometimes they may be worried about their current power status, or may think that they're hot shit and think the odds of gaining power are better in a state alliance situation rather than a union under one government. Listen, I ain't about to sit here all day and dwell on what we already know about human nature. There's good and there's bad. There's also those well-intentioned morons that make bad decisions for the right reasons. This reality should teach you to take a step back and think in every situation if you are really in the right. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, if you will. On the same note, sometimes the people on the right side may have bad intentions. Nothing is worse than the people that just automatically characterize their opposition as evil no matter the situation, making a bad guy when there may be none. Look, there's going to be some angry people, but we are just going to view our opposition as people that are just wanting the truth through evidence and justifications. Those who come out in favor of government with passion are going to be viewed like they like tyranny. When people propose that rights need protected, it will be viewed as trying to kiss ass and manipulate the plebs. Loving freedom will be met with narrow-minded assholes while everyone forgets that the government plays a vital role in ensuring liberty. History teaches us that the republics that fall apart are because of men that proclaim their devotion to the people. They start by manipulating the prejudices and end as fucking Hitlers. Now I'm trying to be straight up with y'all and warn you of my biases. But yeah, I'm in favor of this new constitution. I'm all for it, like all the way in for it. But I'm trying to argue from truth and not my own biases. So I'm gonna start writing some stuff with the goal of explaining some stuff so I can give some good answers to your more than warranted questions. Next time, we are going to look at the advantages of the union because there are a lot of haters out there with worthy arguments to address. That was Federalist 1. I hope it helps you guys. Have a mediocre day.